Hello and welcome to our BNT unboxing video. Have you ever bought a game off eBay only to get it in and it has a funk to it? Smells of cigarette smoke or something other quite disgusting? Well, today we're going to go over how to remove or how to reduce the smell. Um, this process may not remove it completely, but it should reduce it. Um, to get started, we will need the main ingredient coffee grounds, coffee grounds, um, cheese cloth or pantyhose if you have them, and then some games. Oh, and uh, you know, I have a couple of games that I wouldn't mind de stinking. I also have an accessory that really smells. So we're going to work on taking the smell out of this and then to seal everything up, the cheese cloth bags, uh, use some rope or bands or if you're lazy and don't have any of that stuff like I do, some pieces of wire. So uh, first we're going to set the cheese cloth up and uh, get going. Okay so we have the cheese cloth out of packaging and we're just going to take some standard scissors and cut it in half and then cut that into sections so we take our our bags then we'll put the coffee grounds in. Like I said, you could also use pantyhose, um, though I'm sure not everyone has that. And cheese cloth is a little bit easier to deal with. Um, and we're going to want to have multiple bags of the coffee grounds in the container to um, help get rid of the smell. You're going to want at least one bag below the item and one bag above it. Uh, the more stuff you have, the more bags you're going to want to have just to deal with everything. Alright, so that should be good for our bags and we'll move on to the coffee. Fresh patch. Alright, with the coffee, I just put more or less a hand. I just pull a little bit down. Um, if you have a spoon, it would probably be a lot easier, but I wasn't prepared, so I don't have a spoon. I just have knives. Um, so we're just going to pour a little bit in the middle. That should be. That should, we'll put a little more. One thing to note after you've used the coffee on this for. It's going to sit for a couple of days. You're going to throw it away. Um, I've tried to save it for a couple of days afterwards, and it just has a it, it has absorbed the smells, and it's just not usable again. So after this, it's goodbye coffee. Um, and then we're going to try and fold this up. This is way too big, but that's fine. Um, I've lost the wires already. Out oh, of there. All right, one down, I'm gonna go make a few more and then we'll come right back. All right, and this will be our last one. I'm just gonna make four bags of uh, coffee. As you can see, I've realized I don't need this much bag. So make a little bit smaller bag and a lot more coffee. Um, first one's always a mess up, you know, until you get the feeling right of how much coffee you're pouring out, how big of the bag you're going to need. It's a little bit of trial and error, but it's not too bad. And we'll just tie this one up. Alright, so we got our bags of coffee. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a few of them, put on the bottom you put on the top and uh, we'll let it do a thing. Um, usually it's going to take anywhere between 24 to 40 hours for this to work. Um, it works best on cardboards and paper products. It will probably work okay on plastics but it's the, the smell will probably permeate into the plastic a little bit more so than cardboard. Cardboard you probably can clean it out a little bit better. So with plastics, you may have to let it sit a lot longer than just a couple of days. Um, but we're going to 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll get my container out and we'll put everything in and let it go. Um, I'm using a plastic container that has a closable lid. You can use a car, I, usually I use a cardboard box and just put the lid on top. Um, but you can use whatever. But you want to put it in an enclosed con in container so that way there's not other smells coming in that are infusing into the coffee. You want just the stank that you're trying to get rid of to go into the coffee and not everything else around it. Um, but let me get the container and we'll jump into the next step. So here's my big plastic container that I got and we're going to take a few of these bags that's in the bottom and then I'm going to take the big one, which can't really lay it flat, we'll just we'll stand it up, and we'll sit the games on top of this one. You do like that, and then we'll put the other ones in there for them to absorb the smells. Um, we're gonna let this sit for couple of days come back and check it and like I said it's not going to be 100 percent but it should reduce it it should reduce it between 80 and 90 95 percent of the smell should be gone um, I do have quite a few items in here so this may take a little bit longer time just because of the quantity but uh, yeah that's how you remove the, the smell from cigarette smell um, in particular from cardboard boxes and manuals and paperwork. Um, it should also work on other funks that who knows where they came from. This should help reduce that smell. Um, the more potent the smell, maybe the less effective this is, but you know if you can cut the smell down by 50%, hey, that's that's something. Especially if it's a um, rare game or if it's a hard to find box or it's a good condition box but it stinks. You know, you don't really want to throw that away or return it. You know, if, if that's the case, see if you can get a refund of some type because it's not in good condition. But anyhow, um, I hope you find this entertaining, informative. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on the bottom over there. Give your comments. If you have any questions, I'll try to help out. Um, but the checklist, supply list is cheesecloth or pantyhose and coffee grounds. That's about it. Cheap coffee is the best coffee. Um, if you want to go for expensive stuff, that's fine too. But Cheaper the better, and for less than 10 bucks, you can get the smell out. Have a good night. Keep gaming. Bye bye.